Golian, the magical mountain standing 573 meters tall in the heart of Feth Armagh and overlooking my home village of Mullaban. This mountain was formed after a violent volcano erupting 58 million years ago. This huge blast also created the spectacular Ring of Golian that surrounds the Mullaban area and is the finest example of a ring dike in Ireland and the UK. Perched higher in the mountain top of Slave Garden is an ancient passage tomb and is said to be the highest surviving passage tomb in all of Ireland. The tomb is some 30 metres in diameter and up to 4 metres high, made up of large stones. This Stone Age monument dates between 4000 BC and 2500 BC, making it up to 6000 years older. That is 3000 years older than the pyramids of Giza in Egypt. 4,000 years older than Stonehenge. But one of the most fascinating facts of this passage tomb is like the famous passage grave at New Grange in County Meath. On the shortest day of the year, known as the winter solstice, the tomb is aligned with the setting sun, creating an array of light that fully illuminates the chamber. One of the most amazing sights to behold on this beautiful mountain. To everyone in the local locality, this cairn is also known as Caliburra's House or the Witch's Cave. Standing on the Caliburra's house, you will also see only a few hundred yards along the summit the Caliburra's Lake. Legends has it that at, the lake, at this lake, the great giant Finn McCool found a beautiful young lady crying one day at the water's edge. She told him, how, she told him that she dropped her golden ring in the bottomless lake. Finn, being a warrior, ripped off his shirt jumped straight in and dived down to find the ring. When he came back up, he found an old hag laughing in the Caliburra. She had tricked Finn and fell at the lake side as an old man. When he returned down the mountain, only his hands by Sven recognised their master. On seeing what had happened to Finn, his army then confronted the Caliburra and made her return him to his youth. But it, it is said and believed that his hair remained white like an old man for the rest of his life. His faith is said to behold anyone who bears in the lake to this very day. Would you be brave enough to dip your feet in the Caliburra's lake when you visit South Armagh?